Hello everyone. Today we are trying to generate VV and VH line graph from Sentinel One in Google Earth Engine. Uh, Sentinel One SAR is a space-borne radar system that operates at C band, uh, 5.6 centimeter. It is an active sensor emitting poles and receiving it. The wavelength, um, the surface, uh, the optic in the surface, and so many things determines. Um, how the sensor is sensitive to it. Uh, the other concept is polarizing, uh, which is also playing the role in the sensitivity of the sensor. Uh, Space-borne radar systems uh, work with linear polarizing uh, transmission and receive at horizontal or uh, vertical polarizing. Uh, so we also have the term backscatter, uh, and it relates to how the illuminated location or surface is received uh, by the sensor. So it is defined by sigma naught. Uh, its unit is in decibel, uh, D and capital B, DB. And it is the radar backscatter per unit area. And how backscatter works is also different. Uh, we have different types of backscatter. Uh, the backscatter can be direct, forward, diffuse, uh, double bounds, uh, and volume scattering. So the three things, uh, one is about central one star that works in micro region. Second thing is about polarizing. And third thing is about the backscatter process. Uh, and in this uh, particular uh, video, uh, we are trying to draw the VV and VH backscatter line graph uh, from the Earth engine. Uh, to note again, um, uh, SAR and any topics related to it is very complex, uh, somewhat dense. Uh, but interesting in this regard that we are trying to view the Earth's surface uh, and trying to understand things in very different ways. So um, Earth Engine has the Sentinel-1 image collection. Uh, and the very first uh, step anyone can do is we have searched here Sentinel-1 and you can source that one. So um, everything has been already done by uh, by the Earth Engine, and no such uh, pre-processing might be needed. But advanced or knowledge users uh, may choose to do further uh, processing required to it. Uh, so we have uh, we saw Sentinel One, and we see this. We have uh, we can read the description here. So it says here we have. Uh, uh, single copolarizing and dual band cross polarizing, and says uh, the pre processed with Sentinel 1 toolbox. And here the links to article has been given. Uh, we sure want to check this maybe later. Uh, and the very first, Lee, uh, very first uh, things uh, of important things are we have the bands here and image properties, uh, very much important. And finally, we have the terms of use, which says uh, the data is free and fully accessible uh, to everybody. So what we have done here is we have already imported the image collection. And this is the image collection. We can really import this one. And we have filtered it by the date with this capital here. Uh, and we have two dates in the single quotes, and then after we want to have the VV and VH from transmitter receiver polarization, it comes from the image properties. And it again is something to do with filter. Uh, there's so many options with EE dot filter. We can check that one out. Um, here it has been used as EE dot filter dot list contents, and that has been filtered by and further by that filter. So the basic process here is to uh, select the VV and VH. And similarly, we want to know, or we want to select the IW mode. And uh, Sentinel-1 has different modes. Uh, IW mode is the common in the land. So if you run this, so if you run this, uh, it takes uh, plenty amount of time and it goes on and on because it works on every single thing. 
So if we might want to, we might want to make sure, or we might not want to print this, or we might want to have the uh, filter the area or bounded by some kind of area, otherwise it's going to work. So that we want to know. So again, we want to run this one. So this time this will just works for a short period of time and we get the image collection. So we have got 135 elements here. And the other thing is uh, we want to, as the select uh, from the, whether it is uh, ascending or it is descending based upon how the satellite is moving. So the satellite is either going from South Pole to North Pole or North Pole to South Pole. Uh, so, so we don't want to mix the different orbit images uh, as the properties can be very different. And from this, again, we are using filter.hearing site. We have uh, ee.filter.eq, which was equals. And we want to make sure that all the properties pass is ascending or either it is descending. So these two things. And from this one, um, and from one of those, we are selecting VV and VH bands. And we start building the chart. Uh, also, uh, we have already done this process of making a small boxes here. So this is all done from geometry inputs. As you can see, I have done it from forest, lake, agricultural land, airport and settlements, and the list goes on and on. Uh, but for this purpose here, we have some lake here. And I want to share that this place is uh, from Nepal. Uh, it's somewhere from Pokhara. So we have different uh, geometry as inputs. So making chart is uh, starts with ui.chart.image.series. And there are so many uh, ways of uh, making charts uh, as given in the developers.google.com tutorials. So one of them is by ui dot to chart to image dot series by the series. And here we have uh, in the image collections, here we have bands that we just selected. And as for the reason, we have forest and we are using here median. And here we have the scale and this scale and the reason is very important because otherwise uh, based upon the our area, or based upon the scale, so it might take a time. Uh, so it's very important to select a certain amount of scale or certain amount of uh, area of or interested regions. So this has been repeated for all those as well. And similarly, we have that series just names and all those properties are related with uh, for the charts. And they are just uh, for the X and Y axis and other properties. Um, so we can load this one out. So you can see here we have a forest and lake and agricultural land. And this is, this, this is just the repetitions and houses or settlements. So I want to stuff here. So when we run this, it's taking some time. So we have VV and VH for the forest and similarly for um, similarly for we have for lake, we have for agriculture land and for houses. So uh, here in particular, some changes uh, might happen due to season or some change in the surface. And, uh, and again, um, this is the argument that a year itself might not be the good way to just everything up on it. So this is again, just we are trying the chart only. And also the knowledge of the particular area uh, is required. Uh, here we are not sure what the place is like. So, and, and even the small uh, 
small boxes, this geometry that we have drawn uh, might then be sufficient uh, as, as the uh, main region to judge and main uh, thing to judge self why this has been, the way the chart has been like this. So this is to say it requires a further understanding to explain uh, why there has been such curves. Uh, but again, this is the uh, general idea of our general way to draw the chart. Uh, and for all the cases, uh, we want to see uh, what VX is like for all the uh, regions of interest. Because as you can see, we, the VX is much higher compared to VV in all the graphs. So here we have VX. Um, more than VV, and again, we have VH more than VV. So we want to know how it might be doing things uh, for VH. And for this, we need to convert all the geometry to features. Uh, we convert it by EE dot feature. We have the geometry name here, and then we have some levels and values uh, for that geometry. And we did this process for all the geometry. Uh, we have done this for all the geometries. And then finally, from the EE dot feature collection, and we convert them as the feature collection. And here from those uh, feature collections, uh, we want to draw only the VH for all the regions. And we have here ui.charge.image.series by reason. And here image collections, we have the main that we signed earlier uh, from the above. Here we have, yeah, at the beginning we did for this one. So see ascend ESC, this is for ascending. And we have one little band VV band here. And for the regions, here we have second regions, this all the regions. And we want to have this done by the mean of that, of that day or you know, of that month. And then after we have the scale. And the scale is set to a zero, uh, sorry, scale is set to as 100. And the rest are the features of other, for other properties of the chart. So um, we run this and we wanna see how it goes. We have the chart again here. So we want to see this. So here we have the VH values by reason. So as you can see, all the values are particularly really zero. So we might want to check it again that the, the ranges of bands are between minimum to minus 50 and the maximum is one. So here we have uh, all values be, uh, below minus in, in all in the minus. Um, uh, we have the houses or settlement areas with highest values among all. And the airport in particular has some rough changes. I believe uh, the constructions might have gone there, which I'm not sure. Uh, the notable thing here again is the houses uh, that stands uh, from the rest, and the leak here as the lowest backscatter. So we might want to wonder why all these values are negative. Uh, I believe that's totally dependent on the selected geometry and it's uh, common to have the values in negative. Uh, so uh, this might not be the case for other reasons, uh, for some uh, constructions or city areas, they are they might have the other values, uh, but generally here we have the negative values. Uh, but this might again depend on the cases, um, and so this is the uh, graph that we can visualize for different reasons. So, uh, so I think for this uh, graph in particular is that the scale 
uh, so well, even while for drawing the chart or the graph, the scale is also some playing the role. And uh, even the regions or the size of this uh, size of this uh, geometry is also playing the role. So that might be the reason why it's happening like this. So, and for particular for agricultural land and for forest, um, there has been some changes. Uh, so we cannot be sure what types of crops might have grown there. Um, so that's it. I think this explains some sort of well, but these two other things. The lake has the lowest and the houses or settlement areas is the highest in this scatter. And for the final purpose, for some busy license, here we have the, uh, for the visualization we want to have, so we can uh, try with different uh, uh, combinations. Um, there's no particular uh, way uh, that can be suggested. It depends upon the user and the user's knowledge is very important. So here we have the function that adds the VH ratio of VH to BV, uh, ratio of the VH to BV in the whole maze collections. And that can be added to the ratio, uh, as at the ratio added function here. And that has been drawn uh, simply by their bands. And here's the name for the layer's name, as the layer's name. And the way uh, the visualization works depends, totally depends on the user. Uh, again, so we might want to run this again. So we have some these license here. I think that's coming here. So we might want to zoom in a little bit. So here we have something. We don't want to. So we might want to try different ways. So so after trying many times, maybe we might start making sense uh, what this is doing. So for this uh, content, this was it. Uh, we'll hope this uh, was helpful. Uh, so I would like to say thank you for watching. Uh, so any comments are welcomed. Thank you again.